Hey, buddy, it's Invicta. It's time for another Tainted Random Run Day here, the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Hope you had a great start to your weekend here, and uh, let's just see if we get another Tainted Lilith Run or Tainted Maggie. It's It might just be one of the two. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. But first, I want to say thank you all very much. We did another video across 3,000 likes, which now puts us only 13 away from the like streak reward goal of the first Rebirth Reaction video, which I am planning on probably recording live here on YouTube as part of a live stream. So I'll let you all know whenever we do start get, start getting closer to the uh, like street goal on that one and thank you all very much again for the support over the weekend here's your artwork of the day submitted here by i'm gonna say rand randa steve or randy steve top throw with invicta logo with horns and yeah i really love all the shading it takes a lot of pa patience to shade in like that with like a felt tip pen or a sharpie and just get it like pure black and then like all the little wrinkles and stuff in the horns really really cool stuff it's very doom guy ish and i definitely appreciate that Thank you very much, Randy Steve. All right, here we go. Will we get a tainted Lilith, tainted Maggie run? Well, we're about to find out. And the game says... Tainted Apollyon. Okay, we have not seen tainted Apollyon in quite a while. Uh, Quebec Alpha, Charlie Bravo, X-Ray, Foxtrot, Golf, Juliet. So, tainted Apollyon is... He's definitely a unique character in a little sense. Oh wow, that was a great that was a great ricochet. Take that game. Uh, he's a very unique character because obviously he's got the abyssal flies, which are very very good. Whenever you do get that, say it with me now, class. Critical mass. That's right. You want at least ten or more of the abyssal flies, which means that we have to consume about ten to ten to twelve to sometimes fifteen uh, item pedestals in order for us to get like that critical mass, like we we're talking about. And uh, you may think like, oh, well, that should be not too bad. Well, uh, kind of, because you have to remember that if we are ending, if we are using Abyss, which is the active passive item that Apollyon starts with, if we are using it that much, that means that we do not have any good items to actually choose from, which means that most likely we're pretty much struggle busting our way through a run. And that's not necessarily where we want to be. Um, but the Abyssal Flies are very strong whenever you do get that critical mass of them and they're able to just do volley after volley of volley of damage and you know it is it's a unique way to play it's not necessarily like game changing or game breaking it's not let's it's not as unique as like say tainted keeper or tainted maggie um but yeah it would take time but i've got no problem with tainted napoleon he you know he does start off kind of slow because he does have kind of lower than usual tiers rate uh, with 1.82. Stai is going to give us an alternating shot, which is going to deal a little bit extra damage for us, but it's uh, it's nothing really to write too much home about. I think we got skipped over the item room. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. We get Scapular. Now, Scapular is interesting because what this means, if we can get this half heart here, this means that we can play the sacrifice rooms infinitely, and that could be something kind of pog now, y'all. But we need to get a bomb uh, in order for us to get that half heart. Otherwise, Scapular will not activate. And uh, I don't think we're going to be able to get it, unfortunately, which is really kind of a shame. Um, man, that sucks. Maybe we'll get a bomb from just tapping. Maybe we'll get three cents or a nickel or something from just tapping the sack room. But hopefully, 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 we'll be able to, we'll be able to utilize Scapular. So right now, as you see, Scapular is not... Uh, kicked in yet. So what we need to do is we need to go find a heart and get down to a half heart and then once scapular kicks in it will automatically spawn a uh, a soul heart every time every single time we're supposed to take lethal damage. So if we walked over the spikes right now it would scapular would not kick in. Um, we have to be on a half heart or less and uh, that's why we cannot Unfortunately, we can't get this half heart here, and I just don't think there's a way for us to do it. Um, or we can go down to a half heart and take that soul heart, but I destroyed all the fires, didn't I? Yep. Uh, I could have, if I if I was not stupid, I could have left those fires going and walked into one of them and gotten down to a half heart. That's what I should have done. I don't think there's any more fires. There's, there's no way for us to actually hurt ourselves here. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, not the, not the ideal there. Again, it was it was kind of a big screw up there for me not taking the, take, not leaving the fires. But I mean, that's kind of hindsighty.
Like out of all the things that you like, you're gonna punish yourself for, like leaving fires just in the off chance that you might have scapular is kind of like up there. And I'm actually shocked that that spider lived through all that. They got this repulsion champion here. But yeah, Apollyon, Tainted Apollyon ain't bad. Um, and of course, the thing is, and this is one of the sort of the common complaints about characters like Tainted Apollyon, who do have unique, you know, passives and stuff with their active items and everything. But at the end of the day, you can just choose not to use, or you may not have a, a good opportunity to use Abyss. And then it just becomes a bad Isaac run. Uh, bad in the sense of, uh, you know, his starting stats are just not great. So... There is something to be said that I think that there there, there could be some more uniqueness that, that could happen with Tainted Napoleon. I think it would be neat in order if you could use Abyss on like pickups and that sort of thing. Maybe not to create Abyssal Flies, but maybe to create regular flies. Um, like if you if you use it on like a coin or a key or a bomb or a pill or something like that, maybe the flies that you get will have like different properties and that sort of thing. Um, because Abyss does have sort of a soft... It's It, it is a little bit like that. Wow, that ricochet. <laughs> okay. All right. Not ricochet, but that knockback. All right, game. Well, there goes our soul heart. So, again, if we can get down to a half heart, we can we can use we can use scapular to our best of our, our ability on a sack room, but wow, the game is just out to get us in the uh in the soul heart department. We're just not allowed to have one. To leave that behind. Hopefully, we do find a sacrifice room. <clears throat> but yeah, if we end up not using Abyss, then it just becomes just a regular old Isaac run, and uh, with you know substandard items, I would say. Okay, there's no, there is no uh, sacrifice room, so we could go in the curse room, and that would spawn a soul heart on the way out, which may be the play. So let's go check out the... Okay, we don't want to take Conehead yet. We want to go into the curse room first. We get nine lives. Which will... That would allow... I mean, obviously it gives us a guppy item, but it also allows us to... Um, <clears throat> it allows us to, to take a Devil Deal here. Okay, so you saw us gain that Soul Heart. That was Scapular kicking in. And now we're going to gain another one here thanks to Conehead. So maintaining that half heart interval on our red hearts is extremely important for us in order to keep uh, scapular activated. So a nice little bit of uptime there on our singular abyssal fly on the on the gurgling. Hate this. Whenever they whenever they leave those those spots in the creep. You only do so much before, unfortunately, you gotta run over it. And when our damage is so is, is so mediocre like it is right now, you know, the gurglings just become a huge problem. Uh, I'm gonna leave PJs for now. This is this isn't it's it's not great. Um, I will take the nail though. Uh, we can use the nail to get this key and then go into the store or just save this key for later, which I'll probably end up doing. We'll take PJs. It's not that I wasn't going to take PJs. It's just that I didn't want to take PJs before the uh, devil deal. Reason being is is because I don't want to... I don't mind losing a life to get back into the devil deal to take another devil deal item. Verse and and save those four soul hearts versus taking the four soul hearts immediately and then and then immediately changing them into something else or get rid getting rid of them for a devil deal. Um, why not go to the next floor with a full suite of soul hearts from PJs from PJs? You know, like that that sort of thing is is something that like it's hard to explain at, in the moment, but like I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to articulate why I I do some of those things. Um, so had I taken PJs before going to the Devil Deal, let's just say that there was like three really awesome banging Devil Deal items in there that, I, that I wanted. 
we would we would be essentially just be tr just be trading in PJs for you know one of those items. Whereas we can just trade some meaningless meaningless lives uh, in for those items that we want, and then still come away with PJs. See what I mean? We definitely do not want bloodshot eye, and we get our we finally after our floor three get our second abyssal fly here. Now there is a cap of how many flies you can have um, with abyss. But most likely you'll never see it. <laughs> Unless you're just like spawning item pedestals left and right, which we are not right now. That's a that's we're 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 not doing great damage right now. Uh, and again, that's mostly tied to Apole Tainted Apoleon's horrific uh tears rate. So hive mind does work with uh, abyss, I believe. I think uh, I'm pretty sure they got bigger, but I guess I can't really tell for sure. I was trying to watch there, and then they they were being obstruct. They're being. Are you kidding me? What is this? What is this try hard Larry stuff? I'm gonna wait to use the nail so we can use it against the uh, against the boss. Now I can't pretend that I didn't see that that was an emperor card, but me being me, I know that I would not have used the nail to go back and check that card. However, I may have used this bomb. I may have used this bomb to check that that one singular card. Forty-five percent deal with the devil. Um. We could go buy a soul heart or buy a full charge and uh, use the nail to get that emperor card. We could also, if we wanted to, we get two cents. We could use the, we could get blank card instead of the nail. We'd go blank card emperor, but me knowing me, I, I, I would not have used a bomb here because I would, I most likely would have kept, um, I would have kept this bomb for the next floor for like a tender rock or something. And curse of the blind. And this is definitely a room that I would have used a bomb in. So there we go. So we go over to last week's question of the episode, which is a very, very simple one. I simply asked, what are, were you doing this Sunday? It was a lazy Sunday. Uh, episode which i don't believe anyone actually guessed the reference and that could partially be my fault um lazy sunday it was supposed to be a reference to the classic uh 10 year old or 13 year old um snl skit uh that andy sandberg and chris pines did um for the chronicles of narnia go get a couple of extra flies here so we do have a sack room and we might as well just use it now so scapular will keep us alive in perpetuity here but we have to walk out and walk back in in order to keep re-upping it as you see here and we do not get an angel room item So we get our angel, we get our, our soul hearts here. Um, I kind of want to fight Gabriel just to get, just to get another item pedestal from him, but I don't want to pick up any of our soul hearts or we could just die too, I guess it's fine. Whatever. Uh, yeah, then we take this and honestly, I think we do take M and let's just see where let's just see where where the nail takes us. Yeah, let's just let's just see where the nail takes us. Yeah, we go to the dull razor blade. Of course, there's a bad mushroom there. Okay. 
So M is going to give us... You thought I was going to go in that other room there, didn't you? M's going to give us the ability to re-roll our space bar items every single time we use our space bar item. And it's going to turn into any, literally any other active item in the game. Making M one of the most powerful trinkets in the entire Isaac world. Uh, just because you can get so many exciting things here. It's become kind of one of those items that I'm, I'm starting to be kind of known for loving. You know, maybe not to the, deg the degree of sissy, but, you know, M is up there. People kind of associate M with me. And uh, I think it's cool because it's, it's a great item. Like, it's fantastic. Now, of course, M being RNG, I mean, it is, the focus is RNG there. Uh, it does have the potential to screw you as well. And look at that. We get Genesis right on cue. So we can rip Genesis. I would rather rip Genesis after we do probably the next floor. Although we would skip the Polaroid and Mom. So if we're going to use it, we need to use it after this floor. Yo, dip. You're like point blank, Napoleon. How are you, how are you missing? All, all these Abyssal Flies, you're telling me you're missing? So M gives us uh, just a random Genesis, and I'm fine with that. Um, blanket is a good item. Okay. Say a, it's a one percent chance of that happening. Something, something really low. But Sinvicta light, Sinvicta luck makes it uh, way more likely. Everyone knows. And there's our obligatory greed hit. Obviously, we want to take head of the keeper here or steam sail, whatever it is. Yeah, steam sail's fine. Long hourglass it does it does virtually nothing. So now we don't care what the items that we get are, as long as we just get passive items and not active items. I guess we can go in there and use abyss on the glowing hourglass because we are going to use Genesis here. There we go. So we have five Abyssal Flies now, which is pretty good. Still have not found the item room yet. One of those rooms that you wish you had flying. Oh, I wish I had flying in every room, but... I'm surprised that this Boney is still alive. We've hit it, like, multiple times with flies. Yeah, so you see the volleys here starting to go off with the Abyssal Flies, and... I believe Hive Mind buffed their damage, but again, I could be wrong about that. Go back and try to find our item room, even though, again, it's Curse the Blind. We don't really care. It is a little bit sad to lose Scapular and nine lives, <clears throat> but Genesis gives us an opportunity to take just a better run. And we don't want to use it on this floor because it's Curse the Blind. So we want to use... We essentially want to skip depths one after we go into uh, the item room. On Zoom's Revenge is totally fine with me. 100% fine. As at least this gives us a boss killing item and also gives us a good item to reroll through once we use Genesis. Now we are going to lose M as well, which is fine because M gave us this opportunity to get a better run. And it's not that our run is bad, but then we get like an item like a little Chad, which is not necessarily going to really help us out in the long run, especially with us not being on a red heart build. Normally I would void this or abyss this, but I think for this, obviously we're gonna take it because we've got Genesis. Of course we get another active item because the game knows exactly what we need and refuses to give us what we need. And uh, yeah, we'll head on down. Then I promise you I will read what everyone's Sunday plans were last week. <laughs> All right, so first things first, we are going to go look for the item room and then maybe the shop and boss room and then we'll rip, we'll, we'll rip, uh, we will rip Genesis here after that. So we get maximum amount of, of uh, items to choose from. So last week I said, I asked everybody, what is your plans for this Sunday? And the most upvoted comment came in from Santonio Gio, Giordano. Uh, 9437 who said working and homework with like the sort of like sideways like unsure 
emoticon. And then uh, they also said, but most importantly, watching Sin Victa in all caps. Thank you very much. That was the most upvoted comment. So I appreciate those kind words. Thank you, Santonio. Second most upvoted comment came in from CCCU6CH, who said, I'm about to do a breakup. Let's go. And then three crying emojis. Good luck on that, CC. And uh, finally, uh, <laughs> the third most upvoted comment from last Sunday's episode uh, came in from Rydon the Beast. Uh, and they said calculus and lots of it help. Well, unfortunately, I can't help you there because uh, I hated calculus. I love math, but let's be real. Calculus is not math. It's logic at best, and I absolutely hate it. And here come the, here come all the all the math nerds in the in the comments. Well, actually, calculus is math. Okay, well, debate it as much as you want, but I hated it. I loved algebra. Man, did I hate! I absolutely hated calculus. I was horrible at it. I was a straight-A student when it came to math and everything, but, like, calculus, like, just ruined me. So we might as well go fight the boss now, since we're here. It's going to be Brownie. I'm surprised that he even got any of the dips through that. And you're seeing the nice little volley here of the flies and Montezuma's Revenge taking quick work of Dangle. We do get a damage upgrade and a devil deal. And uh, yeah, we take all of these. All of these are fantastic for us to reroll with with Genesis here. So uh, we are going to die one time. That's okay. Temporarily get the conjoined transformation. But again, this doesn't really matter because all we all we are interested in is just piling up passive items in order for us to re-roll with and uh with genesis and those are were worth three devil deal items so we're gonna get a, a plethora of good stuff here from uh from genesis which again all comes yeah i mean yes obviously uh no isaac i didn't want you to buy that um all this stems from us having m we wouldn't have genesis in this this totally golden opportunity uh, to really take off here in this run if it weren't for M. So that's the thing that, like, I'm really, really, really harping on. When we're talking about, like, some of the best trinkets in the game or maybe the best trinket in the game is M. It is super RNG heavy, obviously, because you can't control and have no idea what items you're going to get, what space bar items you are, you're going to roll through. But it only takes one good reroll to completely change the face of your run, and we're proving that right now. All right, Genesis, and we are off. Your font. Definitely going to take that. And remember, we don't have nine lives anymore, so we got to be a little bit careful. Lard, our, our movement speed is already real bad. But Lard would give us more... It would give us more Devil Deal opportunities. It's not like Thunder Thighs, and we just undid it there. So we're back up. Take a Thame. Hard to pass up Sack Dagger, but we did. Charge Baby. Yeah, give me Mom's Box. Here comes our Devil Deal items now. We get Guppy's Head. We'll take Hollow Heart. Uh, I guess Guppy's Head. So thanks, Mom's Box. Appreciate it. Oh, man. The D-Twizzle. I do love me the D-12. These are all just so bad. I guess Humbling Bundle. Um, get a lot of soul hearts. I'm gonna take super bandage over PJs. I guess steam sale. Uh, definitely want damage. Where's our tears up though? Can we can we get some tears up, please? No, no. Okay, infestation two. Uh, sack altar. We don't really have any followers, so there's no reason for us to take that. I guess we'll take euthanasia. Take some, uh, take some flying here. Also going to take pentagram, which is going to give us leviathan transformation. I guess pay to play. Um, Brimmy, come on down. Okay, that was a pretty horrible genesis. <laughs> Uh, 
That was not good. I cannot believe that we still have not found a tiers upgrade yet. We've had almost two runs worth of drops now. So, you know, anytime you're ready, game, it's not going to happen on this floor. We know that. Now we are a lot stronger in terms of our in terms of our overall DPS, but I think I would prefer to have the scapular nine lives build over what we've got right now, just because of the the simple, just the presence of scapular and being able to infinitely play sack rooms, that can lead to way more interesting things. And we also lost M too, so we no longer get the to have a little bit of fun with M. My God. My God. And you also may have noticed that we reset our abyssal flies too by using Genesis. Three black pins in here. And another greed fight and our obligatory greed hit. All right. All right. And there's the tinted rock, but it's probably not going to be anything. Well, take that back. It's going to be mom's ring. Gave us the soul of blue baby. All right. Oh boy. Oh, Wicked Crown, at least that gives us some hope in Shoal. I don't know about a victory lap. I mean, even going down to Shoal right now is kind of a stretch. We do need damage from the negative for sure. That would also help us with uh, Infestation 2 because our spiders and flies would be doing more damage. But this is kind of what we were talking about earlier with Apollyon, Tainted Apollyon. If you don't, I mean, if you're not using the Abyss, the Abyss item, or you just don't have the opportunity to, then it, it just kind of becomes a really kind of bad Isaac run. So while I do like Tainted Apollyon, man, this is this room just is just rife for the D12. I thought that was your third charge. This, I mean, this room was made for the D12. All right, let's see what kind of goodies we got here. Nothing, nothing. It was a tinted rock. Another tinted rock over here. A button, which spawned a dinga. Oh, spawned multiple dingas, it sounds like. Something going on over there, and I'm not, not exactly sure what. We did get a lot of keys, though. What the heck's going on over here? didn't know anybody or if you didn't know the uh the d12 will re-roll all rocks and environmental objects into other things is a very good source of soul heart surprisingly and we got ourselves another dead end all right all right so we find ourselves a sacrifice room which again makes me sad that we don't have scapular just use the D12 again. We can actually just skip this floor. Uh, but we will be skipping out on a devil deal. Which we did get plenty of HP for. Faith card. 
Use it for another... We can, I mean, we can use it for double deals if we wanted to. And let's see if we can complete the trifecta of... Yep, there we go. There it is. There's the Sinvicta full clear. It is... It is on point today. It's actually the first... It's the first room clear. The full, full floor... Try this again. It's the first full clear... One more time. It's the first full floor clear of the day. Thank you, Brain. It's a very difficult sentence to say. All right. So there is the entirety of Womb 1, everybody, in case you needed to see it. I know some people in the mosh pit do play along with the seed, so I'm glad to help out. Very kind of me, I know. Weird spots for the secret room. Uh. Gonna go ahead and abyss inner child. We're not going to need the extra life, I don't think. Famous last words, I know, but come on. Like we're, we're we should be fine. It's not going to be overly like overpowered run or anything at least not yet anyway um we did get another guppy item which is great but that doesn't count towards our previous guppy transformation uh because we obviously traded nine lives or something else there's another soul heart from the uh ended rock now there isn't there are plenty of hearts to go around on this floor so we if we really wanted to we could play the sack room Hard part's out of the way. Now we just got to deal with Mr. Fred, who doesn't really do anything. Seventy-three percent deal with Devil Fail, and uh, let's go back and go check out the sack room, since we failed to get into the Devil Deal for another time. We might be able to turn that into a, like a good Angel Deal. Hey, hey, may, who knows? Maybe we'll even get Scapular. There's also a bunch of unicorn poop on the ground, too, so if we needed to utilize that for a heal, we definitely could. Not get teleported. Got 30 cents. All right. Okay, so yeah, this floor was basically just a wash. Uh, we should go get those other soul hearts we got from the D12. Might as well get ourselves a full here heal too. Uh, the tenant rock there, which we might as well grab. Yeah, the, we still had plenty of HP to go around here, so it's it, we would we would have been totally fine. And the whole point of us going to Shoal, and obviously we could just go straight to the dark room. Um, but we kind of need the extra shop, which means I probably should have gone back and picked up all that money. Yeah, I should probably go do that. Because we've already had two greed fights. There's almost no way we get a third greed fight. You would think, anyway. But since we are spawning an extra shop out of nothing, the game may not be playing by those rules anymore. So... Of course, there's not going to be a another. There's not going to be a shop on the next floor because we were only in womb one right now. But about to be on womb two, and I'm talking about Shoal. Of two pennies behind. Use the sun card here. We would have absolutely been going the, the way wrong way. Glad I did that. That. Look at that. Fame doing work. We got 71 cents. Probably won't need more than that. Let's be honest. There's probably not going to be a whole lot of available things inside of that next shop. But we're kind of counting on, on getting something, right? We got to get some value out of this. Because remember, we traded M for this, essentially. For the bloody crown. So, 
going to get our money's worth, or at least our value's worth out of this trinket, despite us not actually, like, you know, paying anything for it. Great a Thame ring there. Devil Deal gets us. Yep. All right. Thank you, Stanley. All right, Shoal, listen up. We're, we're banking a lot on this value here. Okay. Now, I wouldn't suggest that this is a run that we even, like, attempt Lamb on in terms of going for, like, a victory lap. So we want to try to get as much as we can out of this one. Now, what would be amazing here is either a full character reroll again or a five room, which would allow us to get another extra item room and or shop. It's a full character reroll. So we don't want to reroll yet. Let's at least see what's inside of our item room. Might as well take it. It is... I mean, we are going to reroll, so... The mom transformation. We're just looking for the item room, the item shop at this point. The reason why I picked up Curse the Tower is because, obviously, I, again, if we're going to be re-rolling, we might as well just try to get a couple extra items. Curse the Tower does kind of count, I think, as a Devil Deal item as well, so it might re-roll into a Devil Deal item. I don't know. Let's let's find out. Let's 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 just find out. We don't have any secret room items, to my knowledge, except maybe Mom's ring. The reason why that's significant, significant is because we don't want to reroll into Missing No, and we especially don't want to reroll into TM Trainer. But yeah, as you can tell, I mean, with z again zero tier, zero tiers ups, our damage is. Um, Lacking. I will use the D12 in here. Maybe we'll get something fun. And we did not. All right. Yeah, I'm simply looking for the shop is all I'm doing. Let's see if picking up all those, all that money from the sacrifice room was worth it. Looking back, blanket. Good to see you. I guess I could just use the hermit card too. So, all right, let's go. Let's go into our one room and see what we re-roll into. The whole nice crisp twenty items. Again, this is going to reset our uh, our abyssal flies. We got marked blood puppy, PhD, dark bum. Yeah, we did. We did get. Uh, oh, we lost. We lost flying. We did get lusty blood, which is good. Navi, which is not great. Canes of the Rye, Gimpy. Yeah, not phenomenal. Marked definitely kind of bums me out a bit. If we had cursed eye mark, that'd be that'd be to something totally different here. But you have to treat it just like I have a cult and another greed fight. But this one was not in our uh, this one was not in our store. So at least we have a good tears rate, right? With marked and with Binky. But I guess in a way you could say that this ru this run was better what we had, but not by much. 
It's made better though, just by the the, the simple fact that we just have a, a better than 1.82 tiers rate. Being lusty blood here, get some some good damage. The game is also I I noticed on one rooms especially the game gets really obsessed with forcing us to take little delirium and blood puppy at the same time. Like you almost always see them in the same rerolls. Stanley just being all kinds of pains today. There we go. And we'll see if what we'll see if the hermit car can take us there. Or, I mean, we with card reading, we might just get a red portal. We didn't. It's not Juice of Shadow. This is a tears up, but we've, we're we almost capped on tears. Uh, although this would get us down to the negative. At least if we, I mean, we don't have the Polaroid, so might as well do it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Ventricle Razor here. Drop it there, just in case we need to get back out from somewhere. Use the Hermit card. Hermit card took us uh, essentially nowhere. Oh, I'm not sure if... I'm not 100% sure if this is the right way to go or not. Now, one thing we do need to be careful of is our HP. We we are not... We're, we're not totally fine here. Oh, yeah, we also got... We also got Marrow, which is doing, you know, nothing for us. Our saving grace is that we do have D-Bizzle. Blood Puppy. What? Is this clown physics? Okay. All right, game. All right. And yeah, that is, we, we could not be going the wrong way any harder than we are. All right. Well, at least now we know. That blood puppy ricochet is uh that one's that one's one for the ages. Pretty sure he cleared the entire monitor length in about uh 0 0.02 seconds. Alright, D Bizzle, we need to we need to get that soul heart back and we need a couple more before I'll be satiated. Nice little job there by uh, Delirium Gish. Staggering the charges of famine. Still getting some still getting some red hearts here. E Bizzle's got him got himself a little bit of a little of an engine power his uh, addiction. That is what that's what lots of shot speed does to a charging target towards Isaac. Our shot speed is pretty high right now. Not entirely sure where that blood trail came from. But it definitely threw me off. My guess is that it was probably Delirium Headless Baby, and I just didn't realize it. I didn't notice it. I think it... 
I do think it is a little bit bs -y that the game removes all of your abyssal flies if you re-roll. Because, like, those were items that, like, you could have taken, right? And you straight up, you chose to sacrifice them just, just to get an abyssal fly. You sh if you do a full re-roll re on a polion, a tainted polion, you shouldn't be punished for doing that. I think that once you get the abyssal flies, they should just stay with you, but I might be a little bit biased in that. So we are going to get the dub here in a, what I would consider to be a not so great run. It wasn't terrible by any means, but you know, I think that what I do think was terrible was the Genesis roll. That, that might've been the worst Genesis I've ever seen. It was pretty pathetic. You got to admit. And the one room also, I mean, this is probably the best, the best run that we've had here other than the original. I still think that we would have probably been set up for a more fun run with the original run that we had with nine lives and scapular had we been allowed to keep them but what can you do so thank you for watching everybody if you'd like to answer today's question of the episode it's got it's a good one and it kind of sticks along the theme of, of tainted napoleon specifically question of the episode time it's going to be if you could change tainted napoleon to make him more dynamic, make him more unique, make him more interesting, what would you do? Post them in the comments down below. Remember, the top three most up upvoted comments get read on next Sunday's episode. And hey, at least we didn't get tainted little if they're tainted Maggie, right? Right? Right. Have a great start to your week, everybody. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Isaac Johnson, Mark J. Cameron, and Riley Schaefer. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreon.com slash Invicta.